check it out. I was actually requested to talk about my ebook on how to make a beat just using nothing but your 16 pads. And I want to thank everybody who supported me using my ebooks. And the reason why I did it in the first place was because I wanted to be able to make beats with just pads. At the time, this is before all the newer NPCs came out with chord mode and the keyboard modes. And all. This is before all that came out, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm still old school, you know, I, I got the NPC 2000 XL. And I know I'm not the only one. So that was the reason why I came out with these eBooks. And so today we're going to make a beat just using the pads and we're going to show you how I get down. So let's get into it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, if you're not too shy, shout out where you're from. What's your weapon of choice? If you are interested in beat making and things of that nature, please consider subscribing. Hit that notify bell. That way you will be updated each time I upload new content so you don't miss anything. I'm going to use two ebooks. First one I'm going to show you is this guy right here. It's called the 16 Pad Chords and Progressions. 16 Pad Chords and Progressions by yours truly. And this is a request once again. I'm going to pick a chord progression. And as you can see, this is like diagrams. And all you do is press what you see. The color squares represent the pads that you're going to hit. So you have your red and your yellow. So the yellow really represents the root note or your bass note. The gray pads represents the pads that you skip and the red pads represent the ones that you hit. So the red and the gold are the pads that you hit. That's it. Okay. So. This one is a bunch of chords and progressions, and we're going to use one of the progressions out of this book. And I appreciate everyone who has these books. You know, they're not only ebooks, but they're in paperback. I have the paperback. They are available on Amazon. Okay, so anyway, and I'll also leave a link down below. Pick one of these chord progressions. I'm going to pick the second one right here. It's only three chords, and you can play the chords however you want to. It is, it's up to you. And the rhythm of it, all that is up to you. I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'm just copying what I see, you know. All right, cool. So I got it on this keyboard sound and the chords sound something like this. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Just play those notes. And then I have a beat going. So let's play the beat. And again, I'm just using this book. I'm going to copy what I see. Row number two is what I'm going to copy. notice how I like added some extra notes in there and actually they're not added notes I just played some of those notes again over on top so they kind of layered on top of each other so yeah just that simple so I got that first track using that little keyboard sound and now what I want to do is add a bass line so using the same notes what I could do is use those same notes out of that progression the gold notes use those notes as my bass line three basic notes so again, I'm using this second row and I'm using the gold notes. One, two, three, just three notes. As you can see, I use some ghost notes and the ghost notes are just those little subtle notes that come right before the main note. See how simple that was? The next thing I want to do is add in a melody. To do that, I'm going to use another book and this is called 16 Pad Scale Manual. So with this book, this allows you to come up with bass lines and melody lines. So, you know, you want to come up with stuff real quick and easy, just using 16 pads. You just follow what you see, whatever scale. And I'm going to choose it. This has a lot of scales in it. I'm going to choose a Japanese scale. You got minor scales, you got blue scales, you got major scales. So I'm going to use a Japanese scale. And I'm going to follow the one where it has the gold pad on the main note that I want to follow. So let's figure that out real quick. Okay, I think that's it right there. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so I determined that this is the main note. Since this is the main note, which would be pad number six. Pad number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go to the ebook and find out where pad six is. That's gold, and it happens to be this one right here. See, that's pad six. And I'm on this Japanese scale. So I'm going to follow this scale and just use the black notes and that gold pad. So boom, and just use any combination you want. I think I'm going to switch sounds. Maybe that, the koto. And again, you don't really have to use all the notes in this scale. You could just use a few of them. You can just use two or three. It's up to you. So it's really up to your imagination and how you feel it and how you hear it. All right, so let's go. All right, that's cool. That'll work for me. So now we have that in there. Let's add some delay just to kind of spice that up. <laughs> Okay, so now just using my pads, I'm not using the keyboard at all. I just use my 16 pad drum machine, which was my NPC, and then those ebooks, man. And I came up with a chord progression, a bass line, and a melody using those two ebooks. <laughs> and there you have it y'all got any questions it's very simple man if you like this video hit that thumbs up button more videos on the way please check out all the links down below i will see you guys on the next one i'm sending peace and positive energy